sporting history, this campus has been great and has had some very large effects, not just locally, but provincially, nationally, and internationally. And these people have never been recognized, so it's a great opportunity to recognize these people. On the other side of the coin, it gives us a chance to create a great sporting banquet in Camrose and raise some very much needed scholarship do dollars for our athletes. Well, I'm sure they're excited about it, but let's actually hear from some of the inductees now about what it means to them. First of all, he was humble and he'd be surprised, but I think that that would mean the world to him that he did his job well. I think it has a lot of meaning because, uh, especially in sports, you, uh, you get your education, which is probably more important than, than uh, winning championship in the game. It's um, inspiring and uh, it uh, certainly uh, ties me with the, the history of Augustana. Well, to be inducted is, uh, it's, it works both ways. You're almost, uh, you think you never really earned it. And uh, to what it means is, uh, it's in the other people's eyes, not mine. And, uh, you know, it's, it's an honor, but uh, I think it, it, it's, a lot of people say, yeah, I've been reading about it and reading about it and so on. No matter when we were skiing, we'd have them all over Canada. Well, are you boys from Camrose? Uh, you're the skiers from out there? No matter where we went in Canada, practically, at the, at the, in those days. So it's, I don't know, I don't, uh, it's, it's not any arrogance, but it's, it's kind of a humbling thing, I would say, to be admitted into the uh, Sports Wall of Fame. And uh, so it is wherever you go. Well, the college was Carol's life. He, he was a Lutheran pastor, and he got to combine his sports so he coached football, wrestling. He's known as the Gentle Giant. Uh, any man who came out for football made the team. There were less than 400 students and he carried more than 60 on the team. So some of them were only 120 pounds, but they gave it their all. But he was about building character more than winning, even though they were winners. He was all about developing leaders, character, and I think he succeeded in doing that. They loved him, he loved them. A very special uh, honor to be inducted with him because he was not only a, a partner in this, the athletic program and built football in this area, but he and I were very close friends and uh, uh, kind of had the same worldview uh, together. Uh, but the college was everything to Carol, so I'm glad that they are doing this. Well, I think you can't uh, deny the fact that if anybody wins a, a championship of some sort, it, it uh, stirs the imagination of the public and also youth that uh, may aspire to some kind of a, a level of their, to, to achieve the best they can, I'd say. But the main thing is to enjoy the sport as we did. Uh, the we Olympics fell in all by themselves. Uh, if you won the Canadian Championship, you were probably nominated for the team. And in those days, it was uh, pretty well, we had to raise money ourselves and uh, support ourselves completely. So it's a far, a far cry from uh, what it is now. And, and uh, I don't know, I can't say that, I remember standing on the top of the ski jumps in uh, Cortina, Italy, and also in Squaw Valley, and, and thinking about the old Norwegians back home and, and what they were thinking about with us being there. And, trying to do the best we could, and then that's the highlight of uh, being there, and uh, completely out of place, I'd say, because the hills of Camrose are, are not much of a challenge compared to when you get in the Olympics, and especially over in Europe, you have some huge, it's a huge thing, but uh, I think one highlight for me was that I was the best North American in the uh, Nordic combined, which is uh, more, than, uh, more of a challenge, I think you might say is a little bit more realistic, even though we didn't have the coaches or anything like that. So it is, it is a challenge all along, but we enjoyed every minute of it, doing the best we could. And uh, I remember going out skiing all by myself. And I think the, to, gain a, to gain a passion for doing the best you can, you have to really learn to work a lot by yourself. And even with the, we never had coaches, but I remember one old Norwegian, he was watching us jump and he said, 
all, all the, uh, all the encouragement I got from him was it said, yeah, you're doing pretty good, just keep on yumping. As a coach, that you, uh, one of the most important things is to uh, have a vision of what you want to be and not listen to all the powers of gloom that you may not make it, that you go the 100% and that you never quit and uh, that you realize that that you as a person are more important than any gold medal. And my most treasured me memories would be the growth that I've seen in students' lives as they've gone through sport or the outdoor program or whatever they're involved in. Well, I'm honored to be inducted because uh, it gives me a chance to, uh, to look back and to see how far we've come as an institution. Uh, from the days when I walked in here and there was only a, a pile of moldy football uniforms and a few basketballs that were uh, empty and uh, uh, then to see it grow into what it is today. Well, we had the, uh, the natural layout here. We were quite fortunate to, of course, we lived just above the valley here on uh, College Street. They used to call us College Street and uh, so we could go down and ski on homemade skis down on the sh on the sharper angles, we could build a jump and do a little jumping and watch watch the the uh, elderly skiers skiing and enjoying it. And we would ski down the boulevards past our place, and so I think it's just kind of like a little disease, it <laughs> skiing disease. <laughs> well, the first thing you think of is if I'm going to be an Olympian, I've got to. I've got to toe the mark. I've got a, I've got a lot of competition, and if I can beat uh, beat out a few of them, I might be able to get up close to the top level. And so that's what you think about mostly is training and and uh, doing well. And you know. it was the hockey team because uh, it was actually a choice of our athletic advisory board. Uh, who met and uh, deliberated for quite some time on who should actually be inducted in the initial Hall of Fame, and they were one of the uh, the strongest proponent, the strongest um, uh, people in that team category. They've already been inducted into the Alberta Hockey Hall of Fame, so we thought it was appropriate that we inducted them here now. No, Camrose was, uh, was was good to me and, and good to my teammates. Uh, yeah, we got educated made some lifelong friends, you know, and here it is, darn near 40 years later, and we're still friends, we tease each other just like we were young adults, we matured together. Well, probably one of the most, uh, oh, memorable things, uh, it doesn't really go with the game, I mean, that's, uh, you know, the final game, or, or getting out of Alberta against Red Deer, no doubt that's the highlight, but one of the biggest things I could never figure out is, uh, Coach Joe Wojtacek, you know, he had that smile like a kind of like a gorilla eating horseradish and, and uh, he'd just look at me and he'd say keep that ref honest and he was referring to Bob Prestige. Everybody knows Leroy Johnson, he was the manager of the team and he, he molded that uh, that college team in the early 70s, late 60s and, and brought it along and Joe Wojtacek was coaching but uh, you know I, I like to look at it as being on that team as, as, as part of the guys that helped shape Leroy to, to put his time in and, and do a good job for over a decade with the provincial at the provincial legislature as the MLA for this constituency and uh, you know I don't know how Leroy did it with some of the characters he had to deal with you know you look back now he had to deal with Lutheran ministers he had to deal with lawyers and even a judge so it was those guys that shaped Leroy's character to make him the, the good uh, politician that he was